I'm the current maintainer of the LDC decompiler, and well, I, I like to present uh, what is D and um, uh, how how the decompiler and journals are working, how we use LLVM, and uh, in the end, uh, I like to give some thoughts about improvements. Yes, and. Um, Regarding the talk about Ruby, it, I think it's uh, interesting because there are some points uh, that are really different and some other points uh, it's the same experience. So uh, I'm really glad to have this Ruby talk before my talk. But uh, let's start with <coughs> diving into the language. What is D? Um, D at first has a C-type uh, language. It is uh, really derived uh, from C, so it started in the uh, 90s that um, there were some guys who said, well, C is a cool language, but it's complicated, and then you get C++, it's, it's more complicated, you have all these template stuff that's <laughs> load. And uh, they wanted to create a language which, uh, which has the C, syntax feeling, which is directly readable to all C and C++ programmers, but at the same time it should be a simple language. Okay, so it derived from C that it has static typing, uh, which basically <coughs> means uh, that uh, all the types are checked at runtime. Uh, compile time, sorry. Yeah. <coughs> One of the improvements is uh, D supports several paradigms. You can start in D and programming like in C. You have functions and these functions work on data, everything fine. You could also have uh, objects and classes and uh, join the object-oriented programming. Okay, but you can also have some functional style in it. That is very cool and I'm going to show exa an example of this. It makes the source readable, it is short, it's, it's great. D also supports generics or templates, and uh, we also added uh, uh, contract programming, so you can have uh, also some kind of safety in the language. Well, even more, uh, D scales up to large projects. There are modules, and if you follow the uh, development of C++, modules are the latest development in the C++ world, um, well, uh, D started these modules. We also have interfaces, which is uh, a concept required for abstractions, and also um, unit tests are an integral uh, piece of the language. You can write your function, your algorithm, and you can write the unit test side by side. So uh, this really encourages developers to write unit tests, which is a great thing also for the compiler, by the way. Yeah, and uh, we also have some convenient and powerful features. Well, the first one, garbage collection, it's automatic memory management. This is uh, usual controversial. It uh, contributes to the safety of the language. It costs some performance at runtime, so um, Yes, I feel it as a big plus, but uh, there's also some development recently to say uh, we add some allocators uh, to avoid garbage collection. So we have both of two words. <laughs> a question? Or no, that's just a thumbs up for less garbage collection. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> but it's uh, really controversial. Um, what is not really controversial, but is the most large feature of D developers, uh, array slices. Array slices uh, is simply, I say, uh, 